In this video, I'm gonna show you the best alternative Lightroom in Photoshop. I've been using it for years. It's called Luminor Neo. And there's some really cool updates that I wanna show you. So let's start off with this photo of Paris, shot with a medium format camera a while ago. I'm just gonna go directly into presets. And I can actually can either use presets. You see, you go to preset here. The one I like is uh, you can go to like sunset preset. They even have presets where you can actually do a sky replacement in real time. But I'm gonna show you how to do it, you know, without, uh, so you can do your own sky replacement. I like hyperdrive. You even have presets that have like sky replacement with the reflection. It's all on like one click and you're done. Isn't that crazy? But on this one, I'm just gonna start it from the start. So I'm gonna go back to catalog. I'm gonna click right click and I'm gonna to go to adjustment, revert to original. And um, let's start off, let's go to edit and let's go to the develop raw file. There is a new button here called auto adjust, which I really like. It's gonna give you a good starting point. But on this one, you know, I wanna add a bit more yellow. I wanna add more magenta cause I'm a big magenta guy. And I'm like, oh, I wish I could change the sky on this one. And I have a lot of skies. I bought like all the skies that they have for sale here. So I went to sky selection and on this one, Let's find like a really cool sky, like maybe this one. And I love the sky replacement in Luminar because it does reflection, which Photoshop doesn't do. Uh, look at that. You see, you can see the reflection here right away. I think I like this sky more um, or this one. And I spend a lot of time finding skies. Ooh, I love this one. Let's see this one. This one is kind of cool, but I think I prefer to have this one, this one sky here. And you can see, you can see one thing you should do when you use the sky is look the before and after. You can see that the sun is setting on the left side. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna flip it, okay? So it matches better. And then look at this scene relighting, uh, relighting strands. You can make the foreground darker. Uh, you have reflection, no reflection, a lot of reflection. Look at that, isn't that crazy? And I'm basically done. I mean, it's the fastest software ever to retouch photo. Oh, let's do another one that's funny. Let's do this one. So on this one, let's go to preset maybe. And let's see what uh, Dream Film is going to good or Impact. Okay, let's go to like big city lights. Let's see here. Electric City, Street Theater. I think I like the electricity. So I'm going to start with, start with that. And then I'm going to go to Edit. And I'm going to go to the Develop module and maybe adjust even more, like add a bit of warmth to the photo, a bit of magenta. Um, let's take down the saturation or increase the saturation. Yeah, I wanna make it a bit warmer. Same thing on this one, I wanna change the sky. So I'm gonna to go to sky. I'm gonna take the same sky that we used before. I love that sky. Is That's actually a sky I bought from Luminar called Panoramic Sky. Uh, same thing, I'm gonna invert it. Look at that. Couple of clicks and I got a, uh, a good photo. It's really cool. And if you want to get it, you can get 10% off by using the code photo search. The link is under the video. So let's do some crazy stuff with this one. I use Zoom in our log for sky replacement. So I on purpose to photos which had really bad sky. So on this photo, I want to erase a lot of things. So I'm going to click on Gen Erase and it's going to analyze the photo. And I want to erase this girl here. Uh, so I'm going to make a selection. And then I want to erase this thing here. And this, I find that you get better result if you want to, you know, if you don't, if you do a selection that's not too big. So this, and then I, I want to erase this trash can here. And you'll see the end result is going to be pretty stunning. It's actually, I printed this photo in big. You'll see the final result in just one second. Okay, so let's click on erase. And it's kind of cool to just narrow your selection to what you just want to erase. Okay, so now I've re erasing, I'm going to save that. And I'm gonna start retouching the photo. So on this one, I'm gonna to go to edit and I'm gonna to go to first, let's develop a little bit the photo. Uh, I can go to auto adjust to start with, but I like to always, uh, you know, okay, that's auto adjust. I wanna bring down the highlights. I wanna warm it up a lot. So I'm gonna to go to colors and I'm gonna add a lot of warm to it uh, because this was actually a sunrise and a little bit of magenta like that, a little bit of saturation. And then I'm gonna go here, I love this one. You go to landscape, landscape, and golden hour. I wanna make this golden hour a little more, so it's gonna make this a bit more red. You see, the sun was rising here, and now I'm gonna replace the sky. Well, first let's make it straight, maybe. I wanna make it straight. Oh no, we can, we can do it whatever we want. We're gonna take the sky. 
I want to get, I'm just going to take that really cool sky that I had earlier because it's it's a sunrise sky. I think it's going to match perfectly with this photo. Okay, same thing. I want to invert the sky because it was coming uh, sky orientation. You want to flip it. Yes, you want to flip it. Perfect. And then let's go to uh, scene relighting. Relight trends. I want to make the foreground a bit darker. Relight saturation so that it matches. Okay, I'm gonna to go to the crop tool and I'm gonna use Composition AI, which is gonna make, uh, it's gonna crop the photo for me, uh, what he thinks is the best. Okay, and the photo really lacks of contrast. So I'm gonna to go to the super contrast and add some contrast in the highlights, in the mid-tones, and especially in the shadows. And then uh, I think I'm gonna go back, and that's what's amazing about with the software is you can just go back and forth, back and forth, I think I want to go back to my uh, sky replacement and I want to make the foreground scenery lighting even stronger. Yeah, I want the foreground to be even stronger. Okay, and then you can go back. I'm going to go back all the way to develop here. No, sorry. All the way back to super contrast. And it's going to redo all the retouching that I did. And uh, let's see here. Let's do some final adjustment on develop. I think I want to add, I want to make it even darker, add a bit more contrast. Lower a little bit the saturation, it's a bit too much now. And uh, yes, I'm loving this photo. Okay, let's do one more. So check this out. Let's go back to all photos. So with this one, this one. Let's do the, the, the next two. I'm not going to do scary placement. So let's just go to edit. Let's go to uh, uh, develop. And boom, auto adjust. All right, I want to do more, more contrast, uh, more magenta more temperature yes i love that and then um, let's crop it 16 by 9 let's go 16 by 9 because I, I really want to make it symmetrical with the bridge and let's go to landscape let's go to golden hour to make it even more crazy red i really like that something like that and check it out before after a couple of clicks Okay, one more from Las Vegas. I shot this for the mayor of Vegas. So let's go to preset on this one, see what we can do. Let's go to like big city light. Let's see if we can find a preset that's gonna work on this one. And you see how fast Luminar is. It's incredible, like boom, 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 just a few clicks and your photos retouch. I really love that about it. Let's go to electric city. Uh, nah, frosty. No, I don't like this. Let's, let's look at sunset. This was a sunrise. Let's go maybe to hyperdrive. Ooh, look at that, hyperdrive. Let's go, hyperdrive, and that's kind of cool. Let's just do a little bit of hyperdrive, and then let's go to edit, and uh, let's do even more development. So let's go to the develop module first, because it's a raw file. Uh, a bit of contrast, let's open the shadow a little bit, yeah. Let's bring on the highlights, and um, let's add a little bit of saturation, not so much, a bit of magenta, a bit of warm. Not so much warm, let's crop it because we've got a lot of sky. So let's go to the crop tool. Same thing, we're gonna go 16 by nine. And then I wanna go, I shot this from the Cosmopolitan. I really wanna go here, basically just here. And voila. And then uh, I think I wanna do some dodge and burn on this one. So let's go to dodge and burn. And I'm gonna go to darken, big darken. I wanna darken even bigger. Let's let's go for very light strands. I want to darken here a little bit the top of the building. I want to darken here the you know the eyes goes to the brightest part of the photo, so I want to darken that. Okay, and now I want to lighten a little bit. Um, let's see here, lighten a little bit the strip here. Let's lighten that, lighten that. You want to lighten where your eyes is gonna go, you know, and maybe lighten a little bit here. Now that's too much. Let's undo that. Okay, um, let's just lighten this for now. And if you want to see before the dodge and burn and after, oh, I, I have to redo the darken because I, I undid everything. So, and voila. And check it out, before, after, pretty cool. So you got to check out the latest version of like, look at this, I did all these photos in so little time. It was not even funny and uh, I really love actually this too. I mean, their sky replacement is insane. Their new develop module is insane. Check it out. Use the code PHOTOSEARCH to get 10% off. It's a software you must have.